It's very hard to avoid the messaging that's going on just in the news every day now. With Greta Thunberg, with all of these movements, they, they, they seem to be more vocal. That's the impression I have, right, in the last year or so. And so we're getting messages all the time about biodiversity. We're learning about our own local environment. But I think that once you go inside the buildings, then you have to start asking questions about how what you're doing when you're at work could be having a negative impact on your own local environment. Migraine Lab is a nonprofit organization with a mission to create a culture of sustainability through science. And we do this by working directly with scientists to help them question their behavior, understand the underlying assumptions behind why they're behaving in a certain way, and then to choose options that might better sustain themselves in their work. I'm Alison Paradise, the CEO and founder of Migraine Lab, and I'm here in Galway to certify the first lab in all of the EU as Green Lab certified. It's very exciting. For many years, NUI Galway has been improving its performance in terms of energy efficient buildings, in terms of waste management, in terms of water. Recently then, we've brought that together as a community and university sustainability program. That is looking at practices, that is spreading what we do out into the entire community, not just the environment, not just the, the rooms that we're in, and bringing it, crucially, into the educational practices. So all of that is going on, but what had emerged was that the labs are kind of invisible. They're on all campuses, but they haven't been viewed from this angle before. So laboratories are often considered the sort of the final frontier in sustainability. And most of that is because people are, they're kind of afraid of scientists to be honest. I mean, that, that was one of the first things I learned going into this field. What has emerged is that labs are using five or six times more energy than, let's say, offices, or that labs are using 15 or 16 times more plastic than the average person in Ireland. It takes scientists to start this movement because we understand what's actually happening in the lab and know when there's really an opportunity to make a change and when there's not. So in recent years people use a lot of plastics out of convenience more so out than out of necessity and we're trying to change the attitudes of people in the lab that it's more out of necessity that you need to use your plastic consumable products. I think ideally we want to find some way within Ireland of recycling some of these things. In more recent times most of Ireland's recyclable material, over 80% in fact, was exported to China. However, that market is no longer open to the Irish market and therefore we must look at other alternatives in terms of where our dry recyclables go. By next year, 2020, we want to have achieved a 50% recycling rate in Ireland. All we're asking lab scientists to do is question what they're doing. You know, Is there a single protocol in the 10 that I do every week? where I could change what I'm doing and take it one at a time and try to implement the changes and then talk about it with other people to try and influence them. My advice is to work as a team, share out the responsibility. It's actually really, really doable if you share it. We have a rota in place, so at the end of the day, one of us is going around in the lab and is checking that all the hoods are closed and with the light off, and the instruments are also shut down according to some stickers that we put. Green is like when we, you can shut it down immediately after the experiment. Yellow is that if it has to be shut down at the end of the day. And red is when he, the equipment can never be turned off, like freezers. To minimize the use of dangerous chemicals, toxic chemicals, try to replace them for less harmful whenever possible. It can be transport, talking about how we travel to and from work, how we travel when we're in work. To start using glassware instead of plasticware and re rewash the glass instead of throwing away the plastic and buy a new one. There are a number of things in the lab uh, that we get that we can reuse. We use our uh, tip boxes for multiple purposes, uh, so we have refill system where we refill um, uh, tips which are used to dispense uh, various volumes which is very common practice in the lab but you still have lots of spare extra tip boxes and we try and use them for storage of small materials in the lab to keep things organized. I think uh, the main challenge is still uh, my own habits. It's, uh, I d never really thought that uh, the psychology might be that heavily involved in it. 
but it really is because it's so hard to break your habit. The way that we look to change behavior is to make small changes and then once we start to see small changes around us, that new behavior that we see around us changes the social norms around us. What previously wasn't done around here now becomes the way we do things around here and that is very powerful. We actually begin to break down the resistance to change that comes natural to a lot of people. So what I'd be really interested in doing is helping to roll out this initiative to the other labs because there are something like 200, at least, labs here at NUI Galway. But every institution around the country has that number. Helping scientists understand right, that this is no longer right, this sort of fringe movement. This is actually something that is happening and that it's exciting and to get on board with it and to, and to be a part of the conversation about what can be changed in the lab so that it's not just us saying here are some ideas, but it's all of us, a scientific community, ourselves coming up with what it is that we can best do to sustain our community. That's exciting.